Hello, today I am with Camille Kaylet from the University of North Carolina. We are here in Durham today and I'm going to ask her about her fantastic resources <laughs> within REACH and she will tell us a little bit what we can do as music therapists. Welcome Camille. Thanks Petra. Well, Petra's asked me to talk a little bit about um, the sources that I'm responsible for and um, mostly as a volunteer I am responsible for organizing six different um, resource listservs. Um, two of them are for states and four of them are national, all free. And the interesting thing about them is each of these um, resource listservs is called a one-way listserv. And what that means is um, resources flow out from a central point, but nobody can respond. So you can't get that pushback that you often get on listservs. Um, they're organized for different reasons, different purposes, and I think um, depending on which they are, it might be of different kinds of interest to music therapists. One of the resource listservs that comes out um, every other month is called Faculty Finds, and that was organized to support individuals who either are um, college instructors or provide training, technical assistance, coaching, mentoring, and I think those are roles that music therapists often find themselves in. Um, Faculty Finds has two kinds of information. One of the, um, the kinds of resources it has are content resources, so there may be um, new ideas about um, supporting children with disabilities. Recently there was um, access to a new online database of photos of young children that could be incorporated into um, PowerPoint presentations. But that listserv also has um, pedagogical resources. So for any music therapist who might find themselves in a position where they're working with another group of adults or uh, mentoring um, another st uh, a student or therapist, um, there are examples of how you can coach effectively and ways to do that. So one example of a resource that may be of interest would be faculty finds. Others are um, more specific to content. So. Um, for example, there is um, a, a listserv called Baby Talk, um, and for individuals who work with children from birth to 36 months, Baby Talk offers different resources to support um, very young children, to support their families, and to deliver quality services. So, Baby Talk is something that, that might be of interest, and a reason why is it fre frequently features um, new um, research. But it also um, organizes um, information about how to support different domains of development. And I know for many people who are not familiar with your profession, um, they kind of don't have a good idea of how much music is a, um, a pathway for supporting many kinds of development. So Baby Talk with articles on language and literacy and fine motor development um, could be just a, a really interesting way for um, music therapists to think about how their talents could be used to support infants and toddlers in those different domains. There's also a new um, resource that I create um, that will be posted online um, at the website of the Division for Early Childhood soon. is something that's called From Article to Action. And it takes an article um, in each issue of Young Exceptional Children and shares ideas of how that article could be used to support children and families. So, um, what it would, for example, one of the recent articles was on ways to use mindfulness to help children be focused and to reduce challenging behavior. I could see talented music therapists who work with young children um, picking up on an article like that or reading the um, from article to action column and saying, "Oh man, you know that, you know that's a great starting point, but." with what I know we could also do this and this so anyway um, what I was going to share is that there th there are six different ways that I currently try to um, direct resources that are free evidence-based and readily available into um, the hands of people who work to support children and families and I'm not sure I'm at liberty to say this or not, Petra, but um, at, in the next issue of Imagine, there will actually be um, an article that will talk about how any music therapist or other colleague could access and sign up for any of these resources to receive them on an ongoing basis.